as people who had never we we who had never known how far and wide a virus could actually reach as people who thought we had enough faith show us what we do not want to remember and what we cannot bear to remember after so much has been lost in only one year oh god let us begin here in a full lament as we light the Christ candle. O oh, light of Christ, bring your steadfast love here to illuminate all that will be gathered here. Redeem us from our sadness and our troubles in the fire of your love. Amen. We will now have our hymn. Thank you. 
Let us pray. We are not like those without hope, O oh God. Since Jesus Christ rose from the dead, he has opened a pathway for all who trust in him. We have already died with Christ in baptism and have risen to new life through faith. We are one today in spirit across time and space, but also one with those who have already left this earthly life. And even though our, our, our outer body may be perishing, inwardly we are being renewed day by day. So we do not lose hope because we know that neither life nor death nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So we give thanks and celebrate the lives of those we've lost this year because we were not able to celebrate them at the time of their death. We were not able to remember how special each person was to us and how much they meant to us. Neither were we able to reaffirm our faith that our goodbyes are never permanent. So we ask you to lift up the weak, give peace to the anxious, Heal the brokenhearted and give hope to us all. We also pray this morning for those of both parties this week. Help us to remember that we are all Americans. Help us to have a peaceful and fair election and give wisdom to our leaders on both sides as we face this coming week. As we pray the prayer you taught us saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This is a time of giving. As a Catholic sister once said, she said, pray as you can and not as you can't. It's the same with our giving. We ask you to give as you can and not as you can't. You may think that what you give isn't enough, but every effort you make helps us to continue the work of Christ. And God will see us through as long as we are doing the best we can. So you can give here today in a basket in the back, or you can give online, those who are online, you can go to our website right now, firstchurchstratford.org, not First Church of Stratford, but firstchurchstratford.org, and go to the left where there is a, a, a place to, to click on uh, pledges and donations, and there you will find a myriad of ways of giving right now. And if you can't, please send your pledges to the church by mail. Let us pray. God bless these our offerings and the hands and hearts of all who are so generous. We pray in the name of the one who gave his all. Amen.
Our scripture lesson this morning, our scripture lesson is from the first letter of John from the third chapter. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Here ends the reading. We are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. As we gather on this day, All Saints Day, we are aware of several different planes of existence. The first is that plane on which we all live now, this earth. We ourselves are saints. The biblical writings which address the newly formed Christian church refer to its baptized members as the saints. So we are among the saints of the earthly church. But then on this day, we also celebrate those who have gone before us, those who have finished their earthly journey and have gone on to live with God. These too are the saints. The gathering prayer for the traditional service of nine lessons and carols from King's College, Cambridge, England, describes so poetically those who have gone before and our relationship to them. I read, let us remember before God and all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh and with whom in the Lord Jesus, we are one forevermore. On this day, we celebrate that we are one church with those who have gone before, that great cloud of witnesses which surrounds us. We are who we are because of who they were and because of the way they lived and because of the values they showed in their earthly lives. The way they lived out their Christian faith gives us a blueprint for how to live out our faith. The way they loved 
shows us how to love. So we know how to proceed in faith. We know how to love. The scripture lesson says, see what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. Now, I know that in my life, I tend to always wait for the perfect moment to do whatever. I will do this when I have lost some weight. I'll do that when I've saved some money. I'll go for a walk when the weather is perfect. I'll organize my things in the attic when the weather is not too hot or not too cold. I'll straighten up my old photos when I have more time. I have an excuse to put off just about anything. So if you are ever in need, come to me. I've got excuses to spare. But we have no excuse not to act out our Christian faith. We already have what we need. God has already given us the divine love we already are the children of God. We don't need to wait until, until we have a better attitude or until we stop our bad habits or until we have time to think about it harder. We are the children of God through the love God already has for us. We are the children of God. So let's act like it. Now, we all belong to a number of different families, so to speak. We're the products of the family we grew up in. We might have had a family of our own, a next generation. We might belong to professional organizations or a sports team. We might belong to a, a fan club for a sports team or a musical group. We might be so involved with our savings or investments that we feel we're part of a banking family, as the ads on TV would have us believe. We're part of the family of citizens of the United States. We may be part of a family of a certain political party, and we may feel so strongly about that that we feel our loyalty to a presidential candidate is almost as strong as our loyalty to God. But more importantly than any of these connections, we are God's children and what we will be has not yet been revealed to us. As God's children, we're in a family of people who walk in covenant with each other. And as in any family, we don't always see eye to eye on everything. In these days, after eight long months of pandemic, we don't know exactly what is next. We might have fear about the future and fear often shows itself as anger. Right now it's easy to feel annoyed or to disagree about all kinds of things. As a friend of mine said the other day, it is too easy to get bogged down in the questions of what if and the fears about what might be. We worry for ourselves. We worry for our church. As a church, we often think that we could do this or that if only, if only we had more members, if only we had more money. But we are God's children now. We are a shining beacon to our community. The church staff has received notes from people around town, people who aren't even related to this church, are not our own members, but others in town who feel warmed and feel the presence of God during these trying times because we ring the bell at seven o'clock each evening. And our church is working with its very own racial justice, social justice team because we already know that we are children of God and we need to be intentional about how we treat one another better. Right now, as I said earlier, in the church parking lot and along Church Street, members of our own church are collecting food to be distributed to those who may have unexpectedly found themselves in need 
and we're also collecting coats and outerwear for Bridgeport Rescue Mission. What we will be is yet to be revealed, but we are already God's children. We are continuing the work of those who have gone before us, those who used their minds and hands and voices to provide us with a beautiful, usable and comfortable place to worship and to work. Those who offered their skills, their voices to sing God's praise and to move others to a deeper faith. Those who served on boards and committees and gave of their personal time to show the town that here, love does come first. In the hymn, Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing, Charles Wesley writes these words, glory to God and praise and love be ever, ever given by saints below and saints above, the church in earth and heaven. We are the church on earth, walking in the footsteps of those who have gone before us, those whose faces we dearly miss, who are the church in heaven. Even though the future is yet to be revealed to us, we are already the children of God. Let us continue the more than 380 years of heritage in this place and show the love of God through our faith, our kindness, our actions. Strengthened by the love and witness of those who have gone before us, we are strengthened to continue forward. And now we move into our time of remembering. We will not be uninformed about those who have died. We grieve so many. So many we were not allowed to gather to grieve. We feel such loss even as we cling to hope. We encourage each other, celebrate the light that shined from them and the gifts they shared with us as we say out loud their names. Connie Ray Pennell. Franz Francis Poisson. Robert C. Crater Rodas. William D. Hickey. Thomas Conine. Trig and Gel. Stephen Copas. Alexander Papp. Russell Nyquist. Richard Briolt. David Ward. Edwin Fordham. William Azarek Sr. Virginia Crory. (laughs) 
Kenneth Burton. Pauline McHale. Richard G. Morrow. Mary Yankowski. Priscilla A. Gunther. Johnny Mack. Loving God, we remember these loved ones as well as all those known or unknown to us whose lives have been lost to COVID-19. O light of Christ, we have witnessed lives well lived and lives cut too short. We are left below this great cloud of witnesses to continue the struggle for justice and love in this world. Still, we lament that we've lost these partners. May their memories be a blessing and a light to our labor. Amen. More than even the flickering lights, we feel the waves of grief rise as we gather around a table to do what we have always done. Remember, share, and bless. To remember the goodness of God as we shake off the crumbs of familiar parents faithfully mended over the generations. We remember those who were once here with us and we feel their absence. To share in the mystery of sacred story that reaches across the lifetimes and generations to be broken and poured out with new meaning again. How they must have grieved remembering that night he was betrayed and how he broke the bread and said, This is my body, broken for you. And how he gave them the wine and said, this is my blood shed for you and for the forgiveness of sins. To bless the grief that tastes as salty as bread and as bitter as the wine, we gather here with all the saints to remember to share and to bless. Let us pray. Ancient spirit, rise from, the, rise from sacred story to everyday truth so that we can find you again in these ordinary elements on our shared table. Even when we are not in one place, May we find this bread, your wholeness. May we find in this cup, your joy. Fill our humble bellies with your wonder as you bless this bread and this cup. Bless our hearts with your fullness. Through the broken bread, we participate in the body of Christ. We ask you now to open up your cups and to take and eat the bread.
and through the cup of blessing, we participate in the new life Christ gives. Together, let us drink the juice. And if you're having difficulty figuring it out, we'll give you a second. Let us pray. Holy One, thank you for this feast. We have remembered whose we are and who we love. We have blessed our grief and tasted goodness. So let us go now to be light and salt for this world. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God look upon you with kindness and give you peace now and forever. Amen. For those who are here in the building, I remind you to exit through those doors onto Main Street, starting with the people in the rear. And there is a trash receptacle at the door for your uh, refuse. God be with us till we meet again.
I invite you all to unmute so we can um, speak to each other for a few minutes. Do you need to unmute yourselves at this point? Okay. That was very, very nice. It was very moving. Yes. Wonderful service. <clears throat> Thank you. It was good to be here. Glad you're hearing, Mark. Yeah. You know, the technology gives us the chance to be creative in new ways. I thought that worked very well, the uh, in memoriam. Yeah, really, very touching to actually see people's pictures. Yep. Uh, could you could, did it show up well for you who were there because here it looked very clear yeah, it was it was very clear, clear. Oh, it was good yeah. on zoom very good yep well, that's good <laughs> somebody said they also like seeing the hymns up on the the words and stuff yeah, yeah that's good <laughs> oh was that good 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 we're working on it <laughs> getting better and better every week <laughs> Oh, By 2022, good. we'll have it. <laughs> Hello, Bill and Sue Morning. Wilson. Morning, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Hey, Hi, Therese. Morning. Thanks, thanks for the card. It meant a lot. You're welcome. You're welcome. Morning, Mrs. Buyal. Good morning, Brian. 